What's better, corded or cordless glue gun? Stick around and you'll find out what's best for you. So, I love the Sure Bonder glue gun series. They are by far the best in my opinion and they come in so many different options. I always stick with the fine tip nozzle glue gun, so that's what we're gonna focus on today. We are gonna chat about the corded fine tip glue gun and the cordless fine tip glue gun. Same glue gun, do the same thing as far as output and whatnot, same glue stick, same everything like that, but it's the convenience factor is, is the cordless worth it? So the cordless is gonna be about $10 more on average than your corded glue gun. So about a year ago, I probably picked up one of these cordless glue guns for like $9, and I go through them about every two to three-ish months, I always change them out because I am super, super hard on my glue guns. So they used to be pretty cheap. Uh, you know, it's 2022 and inflation and wonderful things happening. So they've definitely gone up in price, but I have known consistently they're about a $10 difference. So when this goes up, this one goes up. So if this is going for 15, you're looking at like 25 for this one. So whatever the prices may be at the time, because hopefully they come back down. Let's chat about the pros and cons between each unit. So, one thing that's great about your cordless glue gun is it is a little bit smaller. It feels smaller in your hand, whatnot. This one feels a little bit bigger. So if you have a bigger hand, this actually might feel better in your hand than this one. It's about the same, really, but this one just feels, feels thicker and more solid than this one. With being corded, one of the good pros about it is that the heat output. So this heat output is consistent the entire time. Whereas the corded one, you have two minutes coming off of the base for the same heat output. With that being said, I've had this thing off of the base for about five to 10 minutes. And while it's not actually heating the gun up anymore, the nozzle's still hot enough that it's actually still working just fine. The longer you go, the output gets slower and you know, it's thicker and not nearly as hot. So there's that and you need to watch that. But it is longer than two minutes, which they say. The one good thing about that though, you throw it back on the base, it heats back up really, really fast. So that's handy. This glue gun comes with a little base plate, so all of the drippings that come off of your glue gun that's just slowly dripping out just land right on your base and keeps your surface protected. Your corded glue gun does not come with the base. However, after using this unit for a month, I noticed that this unit drips way more than this one. Uh, this, the corded glue gun, rarely ever drips on me. Like, ever, maybe occasionally if I have it off for a few days and then I turn it back on, it'll give me a drip as it heats up, but just for it to be consistently sitting on, it doesn't drip for me. And I know this is really, really bad advice and don't do this at home, but I swear I leave my glue guns on 24 seven. So having a big pile underneath this one <laughs> coming in to my workshop versus no pile on this one is definitely a thing. Don't leave your glue guns on, turn them off when you're done. There's a few different things that go in there for that. So one of the other things that I noticed right off the bat is anytime you get a new glue gun, usually the, the glue webs, you know what I'm talking about, those really, really obnoxious, annoying spider web, glue gun webs, was very, very minimal on very new units. Now I use mine daily and I use the heck out of them. So by the time I'm done with a, a, a glue gun, it's just disgusting and covered in glue and a mess. But right off the bat, usually you get less webs. On the corded one, these little feet kind of get in the way on your webs. Your webs start tangling around your feet. They start tangling around your trigger, around the base, around your cord. And you just usually end with this gigantic webbing of spider web glue gun webs, which is annoying and you just have to stay on top of cleaning it. This unit, however, because there's nothing for it to like initially get tangled on and you have the freedom to just move it away from your piece, you can clean it very, very quickly and it keeps your unit much cleaner than I would say the corded one. So if that's important to you, then great. If it's not important to you, doesn't matter. 
that is just something that's always very much annoyed me with uh, glue guns is the dang spider webs. Okay, so another thing that's not great about this one is the base is pretty stiff. So it's not like a quick like, oh, oops, see, it's still attached. You have to two hand it off or like you kinda janky it off a little bit to get it on. If you're working fast and quickly, it's not super easy, for instance, to just be like, oh, work, 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 I'm still working over here and you have to like go find it over there. Whereas this one, you work, 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 set it down. Work, 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 set it down. This one's like, Work, 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 find the base. Wow, I did that really easy too, but it's not always that easy. Um, so what happens is, is that it won't charge if it's not on the base and it won't be on unless it's on the base. So you've gotta always set it on there. I found myself kind of just like jangling it, like just dangling it on, not, not really fully seating it because I was going so quickly. And then every once in a while it would start to not perform well, so I'd have to like go over there, make sure I seated it really, really well, let it charge up again, let it get hot again, and then go back. But it does charge really fast, so I really didn't feel like I was slowed down per se, but this I would never even have to worry about that. So there's that too. Okay, so overall, these units are fantastic. Both are great. I, if I had to pick one for myself, a heavy glue gun user, I would probably stick with the corded. If I was more of a casual user at home, just doing projects periodically, definitely go with the cordless. It's a little bit more money, but the flexibility of just being able to like pick it up and move it around and not be bounded by a cord is so helpful. This, you know, it's like, oh, I'm tangling on my body, whatnot. You've got restrictions. This is just like so much freedom and control with this. So I would highly suggest this for a casual user. If you're going crazy all the time, go with the corded or buy both for whatever you need to. If you do want to buy both, links in the description for both versions of this glue gun if you want to snag your own and glue like a champ. Don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to comment what you think about the corded versus corded glue gun in the comments and let me know. Thanks guys.